I haven't thrown that one out in a while. It's been a while. I like to change what I do, you know? What up, Joe Crew? It's me, Joku DMD. I wanted to just kind of explain Kaizoku cards. So, if y'all have been paying attention over the last like year, I started printing cards. Um, I got really, really into collecting different One Piece games, and then I got super into this One Piece game, and then I wanted to make some custom cards for it. Um, and this guy, Davidson TCG, you may have heard of him. He uh, He's actually in New Jersey, and I knew him through Dragon Ball. So I hit him up and I asked him uh, if he could help me make a card, and um, he actually invited me over and like showed me his whole process. Um, a few months after that, a series of events led me into meeting this guy with this insane printer. Um, we became close, and the rest is kind of just history. But at this point, um, you know, I've made a lot of different kinds of cards, and I mentioned this at the end of every one of my videos that I'm a dentist, so I don't really need like a job to print cards. I'm pretty comfortable in my career, but it's a real passion for me to create stuff. I've always been making things my whole life. Um, sometimes people wanna buy those things, sometimes people don't. In this instance, people seem to really like the thing that I've been making and I've been having a lot of fun making it, so I continue making it. Um, but there's a line for me. And I wanna kinda just talk about a lot of this stuff for me personally, and then I'm gonna go into all of the new stuff that I have in development and just kind of explain the landscape of what Kaizoku cards is. So if you wanna see packs get open, that's not happening, but I'm gonna be showing some pretty cool cards and I'm gonna basically explain all the different parts in the structure of Kaizoku cards. If you wanna stay up to date on all the latest Kaizoku cards information, follow the Instagram page at Kaizoku cards. That's where I post like everything, upcoming cards, when I'm releasing stuff, what the releases are gonna be, the different amounts of stuff that I'm printing and all that. But um, basically for me, what's happened is I've started getting an idea of what people will like and I'm really trying to not get tempted by that because this is a passion project for me. It's something that I want to do that brings me joy that um, I like to create art because it's evidence to myself that I exist. It's an, it's an encapsulation of the time that I invest in that thing. And when I look back at that thing and see what I've created, it shows me that I exist. That, I don't know, that might be kind of weird, but that's just kind of, for me, what it is. So um, I really always am trying to push the boundaries of what I'm doing, push different levels of what I'm doing, innovate things. And right now, the material that I have manufactured over the last year, constantly redeveloping it, um, and I'm, Pretty sure I'm actually the only person in the world other than Davidson TCG, who I work with now, to be using this specific print process um, to make cards specifically. So I've put a lot of, lot of time and effort into it. Um, I started with making metal cards that I was uh, putting, applying holographic vinyl onto. Um, actually, some glow in the dark holographic vinyl also, but. I got into manufacturing my own cardstock. I did a lot of material science research and um, developed a type of card that's unique, that's ideal for the printing process that I use. Um, so let's get into it and I'll show a couple of those here. So, so this is like um, the regular PVC uh, material that I use for the cards that I've been developing. And um, this is a limited 20 serialized card. As you can see, the serialization is in the glasses right here. So what I've been doing for a lot of the cards that I make is I do two serialized releases and I drop them at the same time on, generally on Mondays and Fridays at 6 p.m. So I'll do a limited 20 set that has the text printed onto the card itself. And then I do a limited 10 set on a variable holographic foil. So this is a new one I'm introducing. This is called, I'm calling this laser foil. Um, and you can see there's like a different holographic pattern in the hologram itself. Um, so these I do as limited 
10 and they come with a case that has the text on it. So if you get one of these cards, they'll come with a, a, uh, a case that I also make specifically for these cards. You can put the card in the case and then boom, the card has the text and you can appreciate this cool art. And you can always put like a legal copy in the back if somebody gives you a hard time and just have that there. Um, so those are the two main releases that I do. These are the two serialized releases. They come out twice a week. Um, and it's just kind of fun for me, you know, leaders I like playing, I'll make different versions of them. And um, I did some manga art cards and people really enjoyed them. And I've just been so hyped for Gear 5. So I decided actually to start doing a weekly manga card release. I don't know if I'll keep this up forever, but right now on Saturdays, these are coming out at 11 a.m. Um, I tried to create a card with a lower price point. This is, this is what I came up with. And um, I've continued just kind of exploring and expanding, working with other artists. This is artist ZMC uh, Tattoo. Um, he's a tattoo artist and um, I just hit him up. I really liked his stuff. He started sending me his stuff and I've been printing his stuff and sending him some copies and putting a couple up for sale on my website. But I've been doing full arts and the ones with text. People, I don't think I've sold any full arts actually. People seem to like the one with text, but I really like the full arts for myself, so I still make them. Um, a really exciting new thing I have in development actually is a new type of hologram. I recently changed my card back, but um, I'm calling this Hyperfoil. So this is a brand new card that I developed. It's insanely shiny. Um, they're like super, super shiny, but I'm still testing it, developing it, working out the kinks. There's a lot that I have to dial in before I can actually start releasing these, but at the rate that I work, I imagine it's probably gonna be pretty soon. And basically how the Hyperfoil card came into development is um, with iridescence and holograms, there's something called IR or index of refraction. The index of refraction um, relates to how many different angles something light can hit something and it'll reflect. So the wider variety of angles that light can hit something and reflect, it's gonna end up being shinier. So this has a, basically the highest possible IR for this material. Um, and there was a lot of material science investigation I had to do to get to the point where I could make something like this, but these are absolutely insane. It's it's basically as thin as regular cardstock, but still has the sturdiness of a Kaizoku card. If you've ever held a Kaizoku card, um, they feel different because they're made differently. So um, I've always wanted to change the space of the things that I get involved with. So anytime I make something, whether it's pants or toys or pins or coins or whatever it is, I wanna find a way to do it so it becomes different than everything that's out there. And the reason why I spell card with a K is because these aren't really traditional cards. This is a new type of card. It's a new printing method. It's a new card stock. All this stuff is different than what came before it. And um, the people at the printing company, the printer that I use is a Mamaki. It's a super, super advanced UV printer. Um, and you know, the dealers at the company, the people from the company have come and told me that actually I'm the only person in the world that's doing this with these printers. So. It's a pretty cool process that I've developed. I've worked tirelessly over this year to, um, to build this. I've been super, super passionate about it, but I'm hoping to release these hyperfoil cards soon. They're absolutely insane. But the reality of what happens is I end up testing a ton of stuff. So these are all tests. I don't sell these as limited, serialized, whatever. I just have them, I give them away when I'm walking around in public or um, I throw them in mystery packs. So I have a mystery card available now. And if you follow the Instagram, you'll see things that end up in mystery cards on my story. Um, but other times they're just random, but whatever it is, it's like six bucks. You get a really, 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 really cool card. Um, I'm also continuing to try and just create a variety of cards at different price points. Um, this is a very, very expensive process to make happen. So figuring out the way in which I can diversify the different things that I'm offering has allowed me to kind of create some different options for people to um, jump in and get in on the fun. Uh, I have been releasing some Dawn sets. You may have seen this uh, Gear 5 Dawn set that we did a collaboration giveaway with Azraf Chaz 8Z19 Art and Orange Samurai D. We each uh, gave one of these away. It was pretty fun actually. Um, so. A lot of people were able to get their hands on these and they're also up for sale on kaizokucards.com. Um, 
But yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. But yeah, basically the way these hyperfoil cards came about was uh, David, David's been hand making cards. So he's been hand painting them and printing them for a really long time. He has a lot more experience in this space than I do. I've really only been doing this for a year. But uh, he was showing me some of the different kind of holograms on the vinyls that he has. And he was showing me like, look, look how like shiny this one is, man. And I was like, all right, I got to figure that out. So I went into the lab, put in a lot of work, um, got to a place where I could figure out basically how to do this on the card stock that I've created. And um, these are just absolutely insane. So I'm going into my second year of printing. This is the Kaizoku cards back for year number two. Um, we have a brand new material. It's going to be out relatively soon. So please look forward to the hyperfoil cards. I'm very, very psyched about them. And I also wanted to announce my first year anniversary celebration product that I'm making. Um, the coolest part about this whole process and adventure for me. And when I say adventure, like it's seriously been an adventure. Like the, the, the last year has been absolutely wild been to japan multiple times i've researched so many different kinds of cards i've looked as many places as i can to try and learn different design techniques and strategies and i've met some really amazing artists that i've worked with to commission the art that i use um the four artists that i've worked with the most are uh steven ardo da vinci benjamin art uh Graish, and HZ19 art. And um, I decided to do, I well, I wanted to make something that more people could play with because not everybody plays One Piece cards, but a lot of people love One Piece. Um, and I really like cards. So I decided to make a 52 card playing deck and it's in process now, I'm working on the sample. I'm hoping to release it soon. There's gonna be a limited number of them, but they're gonna be really, really cool. And basically each suit in the deck so the diamond the club the spade and the heart are each themed after one of the four artists that i've worked with the most and there's reasons as to why i chose those suits for them really because of my relationship to the art that they create um and then throughout the deck it's 52 different arts on each card there's a different art of all the art that i've commissioned throughout this first year of printing cards so I'm really, really excited for that product. It looks really sick. HZ19 Art has put a ton of work into helping me make it real. He's an absolutely amazing artist. I actually met him through YouTube. I met him through a YouTube giveaway and we've become great friends. Watching him grow and develop has been like an absolute pleasure for me as a friend and as a you know peer um, creating things. So um, really, really awesome first year. I'm super psyched for year number two. I just wanna keep pushing the boundaries. And my goal with Kaizoku cards is I, I wanna redefine what a card is. I wanna create something that has enough relation to the things that came before it so it can be identified as a card, but I want it to be something new. And I feel like I'm starting to scratch the surface of what that is and moving in a direction of that. And you know, the key was figuring out a formula that nobody else was using. And that's kind of what got the ball rolling for me. And now it's just research and development and testing and testing and retesting and testing again. And eventually I'll have something I feel like is there and then I'll probably stop. No, I, I, hopefully I'll keep doing this, but the reality of me and the things I create is I don't do this because people want it, I do it because I want it. If people happen to want it after I want it, that's awesome and I'd love to share it in that light. But the truth of this is that I'm doing it because I'm passionate about it. It's something that means something to me and um, I really, really enjoy the process. And if there comes a day where I don't, I probably won't be doing it anymore. But for now, I'm having a blast with it. It's really fun sharing all these things that I'm creating around the world. I'm, I'm super flattered that people enjoy it as much as I do because that's not very common for things that I make but um I'll just keep making them so you can follow my YouTube shorts I post a lot of the cards on the YouTube shorts but definitely if you're interested in Kaizoku cards check out the Instagram um I'll be updating more about the anniversary project and more about upcoming things like hyperfoil cards because these look insane I I, I can't take pay if anybody has one of these cards or you've gotten one you know like there's no way to translate through a camera what this looks like in person. It's a 
it's a very unique and, and different experience. So I wanted to just say thanks to everybody that's helped me along the way. I'm really, really excited for this next uh, part of my journey. I have my first anniversary packaging here. There's new packaging. So if you order a card within these next month or so, you'll receive a package with this art on it. Um, and I have some other exciting stuff for like top customers throughout the year and stuff like that. So definitely look forward to more announcements. Thanks for checking out this video. I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. Cards are treasure, your teeth are treasure. Gems, seriously. The enamel in your tooth is a crystalline structure called hydroxyapatite, which means it's a crystal that's hanging out of your skull that you communicate with the world with, you express your emotions with it, and just like shiny things that are valuable, your teeth are shiny and valuable, so take care of them. And you can check out some of my other videos for my ideal hygiene routine and stuff like that. Thanks for checking this out, and I'll see y'all next time. All right, yo, this is Doug. He just came through to the pirate ship, and and he, I gave him some cards because he's taking the cards to Hamza that are these are gonna go to South Africa. He's gonna be receiving them because he makes all this dope art, and he just showed me something serious on his belly. Hey, hey, yo, tatted out, dudded and studded. Dope to meet you, Doug. Thanks for taking the package. Boom. I'll see you on the flip, yeah. Okay. <laughs>